Thermos Jar here and we got a fucking doozy today as the title says it's clearly a very hot topic well a game came out Black Myth Wukong pretty much you're playing as a monkey running around beating shit out of bad people and and uh, killing bosses <laughs> you know it's it's actually a fairly simple good game I pretty much enjoyed it well why am I even bothering with this uh, report here I'll be honest, um, the outspark with the diversity, with gay inclusion into it, and overall game journalists bashing this game for being slightly more traditional is baffling me. So, without going completely political, which I will right now, I personally am very against the um, diversity thingy and making the uh, games more gay. I, I really think that the, the putting the sexual orientation into game stories where it doesn't benefit at all actually takes away a lot from the game itself because you're putting something irrelevant into something that is meant for relaxation. You're supposed to relax, not be entangled in gayness uh, dilemmas. Same goes with diversity. Sometimes diversity doesn't fit the plot. For example, Witcher. Witcher 3. I mean, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with 4, but with 3 was very prevalent. It's medieval Europe-based game where having colored people would make no sense because they would be either used as slaves or very noble people that you barely would interact because they would be foreign to you. Same goes with many other games that are set, uh, like uh, Medieval, <sighs> that the Czech game, Medieval thing, I can't come up with it, like that. Chivalry, no, that's not the one, but you know what I'm talking about, that Medieval RPG game, uh, it was, uh, as well, it, it would make no fucking sense to have gayness and, and uh, black or Asian characters running around in that universe, because it was based on Medieval times, where... Except why there's nothing else. Well, sunburn maybe. Oh, what I'm trying to say here with this video is practically um, we should really pay attention less on the gayness and wokeness in general. Like, we need to stay away from creativity because art should speak by itself rather be told that it's like this. We're supposed to see our ourselves and the world in the art. And artists will only express their art the right way if we can actually relate to it. But that's my opinion. And I consider video games as art. Because I grew up with this stuff. And uh, seeing... <laughs> you know, seeing my library literally riddled with fucking 20-year-old, 10-year-old games... And I can't handle to play the new ones. It's kind of sad. I mean, I do regret buying a computer just to play the same stuff I played like five years ago, seven years ago. I'm playing the Zomboid, which is from 2011 or something or 10. I'm playing uh, games like uh, Elden Ring, which is well, kind of had a DLC, but it's technically two years old already. The only new games I have recently is the Grey Zone Warfare. Hell Divers 2, in a way, was pretty new, but thanks to Sony, it's no longer that new for me. But, okay, the topic is too broad, and uh, I made my point. Less gayness, less diversity, more writing, more art, more deep and meaningful stories, which interacting would be fucking amazing if we had oh yeah and get, have good gameplay that's so important if the game is jank and shit it's not gonna pull off but then let's let's go back to the roots let's let's look at the memes we got with this whole fucking wukong thing you know, like i collected a little bit of memes like reject diversity return to monkey the uh, one of the YouTubers reacts to the game and the <laughs> comment says one monkey isn't enough, I guess. I mean, that's a bit racist, but I'm fine with that. 
uh, Black uh, Myth Wukong uh, statistics over the other games. I mean, that's pretty fucking crazy that the games that had full gay staff making with their ideas and politics are flopping so hard. I mean, I guess they made the game for those 13 people who are playing it, while the rest of the world who likes video games is one, half a mil one, one and a half million players on Steam. Uh, then obviously the 2 million rank on game stats meme oh yeah without sweet baby ink with sweet baby ink yeah that's so fucking true like these parasitic companies that advise how to do inclusivity that's a legit fucking problem but uh, developers and uh, publishers will not realize that because they are run by this shit <laughs> Yeah, the, the the reviews of the game are pretty low because, yeah, it's lacking inclusivity and diversity. Look what happened to your show, Akali. This is very accurate depiction of what happens when there's too much of it. Obviously, some influencer Black Mook, Black Myth Wukong is where versus all SBI games combined. He has a point. Look at all those fucking games. They're shit. Well, they're made, yes. Some of them still have more players, but in the end, they die out since it's just... It's a slop. Simple slop. And that's it for today with the memes of the monkey game. I mean, there's uh, another folder of have, but I think it sh I shouldn't show it since it's very, very sketchy. But the memes there are just as funny related to inclusivity games. That there was this one game called Dust Bowl. I think I still have it on Steam. Uh, yeah, there it is. I visited to check it out. I think it's it's like propagating LGBTQ plus whatever. It's, it's like a fucking barcode, and uh, it's very much uh, how do you say gay? Like I don't want to try the demo I looked on YouTube what this game about it's more like a um, visual novel in a way but the cast is has to be like uninspiring the most un unrelatable the most disgusting in social cue situation that it makes no fucking sense like these people are none of them are same and uh, I guess this is a point given by the game to spread awareness and etc etc but I am me as a person who sees this how am I gonna fucking see this as a normal person there's games that I don't like but I have respect but looking at this I am just like this is simply fucking gay that's all I say this is sad I mean Call me uneducated, call me mean, call me bigoted, call me whatever you want. Because this whole fucking video is me ranting on video games being too fucking gay. Or there's lack of good games in general. Nevertheless, I ruined my day so you can hear me talk about this. And I wanna wish everybody good luck and yeah, whatever, goodbye.